In this video, I'll be guiding a step-by-step -step on how to install Duet Night Abyss, a free-to-play action RPG, on the Steam Deck manually with full controller support. Currently, the game is available on PC and mobile with a Steam release planned for the future, but not yet available. So before we get started, make sure that SteamOS is up to date and you have around 20 to 30 gigabytes of free space on your device's internal drive. And once ready, we can head over to desktop mode. From desktop mode, we want to open our web browser and navigate to the official Duet Night Abyss website. Here, we need to select the PC version and download the installer to our downloads folder. In our downloads folder, we want to right click on the DNA installer and choose Add to Steam. From our taskbar, let's right click on the Steam icon and choose Library. Afterwards, using the search field to find and select the DNA installer we just added going to the COG symbol for Properties, Compatibility, and assigning Proton Experimental. Once that's done, close the window, but don't press play yet, as we need to find the location that the game will be installed so that we can take full control of it later. Minimize Steam and go to your home folder and change to the third detail display view, and then choose the three lines in the top right hand corner and select Show Hidden Files. From here, we need to navigate to .steam Steam, scroll down to Steam Apps, and then Compact Data, and inside this folder it's important to select the modified field at the top twice so that it's sorted by most recent. And if we go back to Steam, we want to press play on the DNA installer. Now when the installer loads, our trackpad won't be working, but we can reactivate this by holding the Steam button, and here we want to go ahead and select Install, but make sure to not run the game afterwards. Now, if we go back to our Compact Data folder, this will have made a new numbered folder for where Duet Night Abyss and all of its files will be installed. And to make sure the game and all of its functions work correctly, we need to close out of the installer. Don't select Run Now, just close the installer. Now this next step is very important, as it makes sure that we never get fatal errors, login issues, and our game always updates correctly through gaming mode with the client. In the numbered folder that has just appeared in our Compact Data folder, we want to make a note of this number as it is randomly generated for everyone, so write it down in your phone or notepad for future reference. Let's go inside the numbered folder, choose PFX, Drive C, Program Files x86, and inside we'll see the folder for the game Duet Night Abyss, and then we want to go inside the EM Launcher folder. Binaries, Win64, and inside this folder, we're going to see a file called EM Launcher Win64 Shipping EXE. Let's right click on this and choose Copy Location. Now we must go back to Steam and alter our DNA installer. We can't just add this file to Steam and run it through Proton, we have to alter the file so that the game is always registered to our randomly generated folder. If we don't do this, then the game will experience issues short and long term. So, with the EM Launcher files location copied through the right click, we want to go to our DNA installer's properties, and in our shortcut tab, we'll see a field called Target, and inside it contains a path location in between two quotation marks. We need to highlight the path in between these quotes, and then right click and paste our new location for the EM Launcher. So, you should have the new path in between these quotation marks. Make sure that it's all correct and we want to go to the next field below, which is called Start In, and highlight all of this and replace with our EM Launcher Path location. But this time, we don't need quotation marks and instead need to remove the EM Launcher Win64 shipping part. So it just ends in Win64 forward slash, like so. Now let's double check those fields to make sure it all lines up correctly. And lastly, we want to go to our field at the top and rename our installer to Duet Night Abyss pressing the X button to bring up our Steam keyboard. Once that's done, we can go ahead and run our newly configured game launcher, and now the official client will load, and we'll see our C drive with Program Files x86 in the bottom left, and we can go ahead and choose Download. The download and installation can take around 5-10 to 10 minutes to complete, and once done, we want to close the launcher and return to gaming mode. Now once we're back in gaming mode, I'm going to add my cover art, and I have a link in the description for my Decky Loader Guide that demonstrates how to achieve this, if you'd like to learn how to add cover art to your games. Afterwards we can go ahead and launch the game, 
And once the client loads in gaming mode and we start the game, we'll need to wait five minutes for the game shaders to compile. And once complete, our controller will be working properly and we can press the A button to proceed with logging into the game. Now we can either use the touch screen or hold the Steam button and use our trackpad. And logging in can be a challenge as the developers decided to use grey text on a white background for the fields. And for your account on Google or other networks, these may require launching the game in desktop mode to access and log in correctly. If you're like me and have a static email address for your account, we can just type in our email and even log in with a verification code, pressing the Steam and X button together to bring up our Steam keyboard and log in this way. Now once you've managed to log in, the game will load and if it's your first time playing through the prologue, then performance will be in the 20 to 30 FPS region to start with. But this does improve once you start chapter one and arrive at the main city. So for game settings, I just recommend using the lowest preset to start with and enabling FSR. Alternatively, we have the option available to use lossless scaling to add frame generation by entering the launch command into our games launch option. I have a guide in the description on how to achieve this. So I hope this guide was helpful in getting Duet Night Abyss installed correctly on your Steam Deck or SteamOS Linux device. And if you enjoyed and learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. Look out for one another and I'll see you later.